Hello and welcome to MailTrap Videos where we explore the world of emails. Today we'll show you how to send emails with Django. Let's start by creating a Django project with an endpoint that enables you to send emails. To create the project, in your terminal, type in Django Admin Start Project, followed by the name of your project. We'll call it Example. Next, we need to configure the sending variables for our email server. This is done in the settings.py file. The first variable is email backend, which is the standard setting that tells Django which email sending method to use. In our case, it will be MailTrap's SMTP server. After registering your account with MailTrap, you'll find the remaining credentials in the SMTP and API tab on the sending domains page. So just copy paste the host, port, username, and password. And the security protocol TLS will be set to true and SSL to false. Now let's create our endpoint. We'll start by creating a new file called views.py. In it, we will define a function. Let's call it simple mail, which will send an email when the view is called. The function also requires a request parameter, which contains all the data sent with the call. And it also needs to return a special Django object called HTTP response. Next, we'll use Django's built-in send mail function, which is imported from Django core mail. The main role of the function is to make sending emails straightforward. All that is required are the essential details like the email subject, the body of the email, the sender's email, and the recipient's email. Next, we'll set up our URLs properly. In our URLs.py file, we'll import our simple mail function from the views file and set up a new path. All right, let's test our email sending endpoint. By running this command, we'll start the Django server. Then, once we open the newly created endpoint in our web browser, an email should be sent. Let's check our inbox. And there is our email. For more features such as adding attachments or using CC and BCC, Django provides the email message object that can be imported with this command. Next, create an endpoint named message mail that uses the email message object and passes the request to it. Now let's create a variable and assign the email message object to it, which requires specific fields such as subject, body, sender's email, and to. In our case, we have these fields prepared in advance, so let's just paste them here. To send the email, call the send function on the email object. And don't forget to return an HTTP response afterwards. Okay, our function is ready and only needs to be linked in our URLs. So import message mail and create a new path. All right, it's testing time. Let's open the server, type in message and check our inbox. And there is our email. Now let's take a look at how to send multiple emails. Django offers two ways to do this. One is using the get connection function and another is using the send mass mail function. Let's start with get connection. We'll create a new function named multiple that sends two emails using this method. In our case, we already prepared two emails in the same structure as shown earlier. Now, the next step involves opening a connection, which will be used to send out both of these emails. We use Python's with statement to do this. This ensures that we don't manually need to open and close the connection. Since both of the emails are sent to the same address, we should receive two emails. Lastly, let's make sure the function will return an HTTP response. After the function is ready, we can add a new entry in the URL configurations to hook this function. Let's start the server. Refresh our inbox and the two emails are there. All right, let's take a look at the send method, which uses the send mass mail function. Again, we start by importing the function. Next, let's create another endpoint that uses this function. Let's prepare the messages that are to be sent out. It's important to note that these messages are lists of strings and not email message objects, which were used in the previous method. Once the messages are prepared, each one is fed into the send mass mail function. In this example, all emails are sent to this test email account, so I should receive three emails. Remember to add the new function to the URL configurations. To test this, we can again navigate to this new URL in the browser and check the inbox where our three emails will appear. 
Now that we've covered the basics of sending emails in Django, let's take it a step further and go over using the render to string function to send HTML emails and not just plain text ones. First, let's create our endpoint. Now we can create a new HTML file. Let's name it mail template.html and add some message content to it. To open this file, we'll use the render to string function from Django's template loader. And we'll also use the strip tags function, which helps us convert our HTML content into plain text for the email body. Okay, let's prepare our email with the usual email components. Now we can open the file using the render to string method passing the template name as an argument and adding our message. Next, we'll use the strip tags and then specify the from and to addresses. To send the email, we'll use Django's send mail function. As always, we need to return an HTTP response from our function to indicate that the email has been sent. We need to define our URL path. Okay, now we can run our server and check our inbox. And there is our email with the hello message bolded, meaning this is an HTML email. Next, let's take a look at how to send an email with an attachment using Django. For this demonstration, we have a PDF file that we'll attach to our email. The process begins just like how we created the previous endpoints. But this time, we'll call it attach request. We'll construct our email message with the usual parameters. But to add the attachment, we'll need to open and read the file. And this can be done using Python's with statement. Firstly, we open the file with Python's open function. Then we use the attach method to attach the file. And we specify three arguments here. The name of the file as it will appear in the email. The file read method to translate the entire PDF file into a format suitable for email attachments, which can then be interpreted and displayed by the recipient's email client. And finally, the MIME type of the file. And once this file is attached, we can send the email. As usual, we'll return an HTTP response, set the URLs, and let's run our server to test the function. As we can see, our message sent response is displayed, and when we check our inbox, the email is received with the attached PDF document. Now, let's take a look at how to send an email in Django using MailTrap email sending. It provides a reliable and hassle-free email API and SMTP service, ensuring a stable email infrastructure and optimal control over email deliverability. Once you've created a MailTrap account and set up your domain, go to your Django app and install the official MailTrap Python client. You can find the link to the client in the description of this video. Once installed, create a new file. We'll name it MailTrap and import the MailTrap module we just installed. As usual, import HTTP response from Django to get a response to the client's request. Now we can start building our simple view. The view requires the request parameter and we must create a mail object. To create the object, you'll need the usual information like the sender's and receiver's address, the subject, and the message text. Once we've created our mail object, the next step is to send it. This requires creating a client using MailTrap's client object and supplying your API key. Navigate to the sending domains page in MailTrap's dashboard. From there to the SMTP and API tab, and there you'll find your API key. Simply copy the API key and paste it into your script where we initialize our MailTrap client. Finally, we use the send function of the client, passing our email to it. Lastly, let's return a standard HTTP response and define the URL endpoint for our new function. All right, so let's run our server and check our inbox. And there is our MailTrap email. Just like that, you can start sending emails using Django. We at MailTrap hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure in one place. 
Like and share this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this one. And we'll see you in our next one.